What's up guys, my name is Cornelius Robinson and this is Overshoot. Today I'm going through everything you need to know when using an SVG file in Flux. So let's get into it. When you upload an SVG file to your assets, you can use it in a couple of different ways. When creating a new part, you can use an SVG as the symbol. All of the parts you find in the library all have an SVG file for the symbol. Another neat thing you can do is use that SVG to add graphics to your board. For example, this board was made by a Flux expert named Vassal. I probably butchered his name, but he designed this awesome board with some graphics on it. This can add a lot to your project and it isn't very hard. Let's just go to a project that I'm working on and add an asset. I'll just upload my logo here. Now that it's in the project, we just need to put it on the board. I'm just going to go up to layout and add a silk line. Once I've done that, I just need to add an asset to that line. Now it might look like nothing happened, but it's here. It's just really big. If I zoom to fit, you can see it and I can zoom back into the board to give you a sense of scale. The reason for this is because the default unit is in meters. From what I hear, the Flux team is working on fixing this, but for now we can simply add a scale rule. Set it to a small number. That's better. Actually, I think I'll just make this a little smaller. All right, another graphic I like to use is the Flux logo. Just search for it in the library and drag it in. Nice. So what if you wanted to create your own SVG? Well, an SVG is just a vector file, so you just need software capable of doing it. I use Adobe Illustrator because that's what I'm comfortable with, but Inkscape is a really nice free vector drawing tool as well. If I were creating a custom diode symbol, for example, I'd make an outline with a one pixel stroke and no fill. The leads of the part should be around 15 pixels in length. Before exporting, you want to make sure the symbol is white so it shows up properly in Flux. and you're done. Between board graphics and part symbols, an SVG file is pretty useful in Flux. All right guys, give this video a like if you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this every week.